Okay, so now we're ready to really get into uh, some real depth in terms of lots of notes that you can play over chord changes when you're playing in a jazz setting. Now we're going to stay in the key of B flat and we're going to be using this B flat uh, 7 chord that we've been using so much. Uh, and really the same tune, little blues tune that we've been using so much. But let me just show you how this would work. First of all, you need to know your major scale from any root. So like always, we're going to put our index finger on the root. So we have our root at B flat, root, second degree is two frets up, third degree, one string up, back a fret, then go ahead and slide that first back for your fourth degree, and then your fifth degree you already know. There's your root, there's five. So let's do that again. One, two, three, four, five, and then continuing, six, seven, eight. Now, the major scale is really important in jazz, rock, pop, country, every style of music. So really get good at your major scales. And, and something that I would recommend that you do is practice that major scale pattern from everywhere. We can start on B flat and do it. You might do it even slowly. And just so everybody understands, wherever the root is, wherever you start, you can play a major scale using that pattern. Let's go back to G. We'll do it from G. Or you could start on C using the same pattern. Root, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, root. As long as you anchor that index finger on the root, you'll be able to find your major scale knowing your fretboard geography. Or frankly, if you root your pinky finger on the root as well, same deal. So practice your major scales and go all over the neck of that instrument. Or here. Name the, name the chord, name the root note, and practice that major scale. Go ahead and give it some practice. Good luck.